market is making headlines in the current week and may continue uh, in the days, weeks and months ahead, not with the $1 billion euro bond uh, being admitted today to the uh, counters of the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange. So uh, let's get a sense of what's been uh, happening over the last one hour when that uh, event is taking place. Temple Ashaju is uh, in charge of the markets for us. and is also a producer here on Channel's, uh, on Channel's Business News. Let's uh, uh, get him to talk to us for a few minutes. Uh, Temple, good morning. Good morning, Bolton. Yes. Uh, is this uh, event on the way? If yes, what uh, have you learned? Well, we have learned that this is a very historical listing for Nigeria, especially the domestic market, given um, what the Securities and Exchange Commission, as well as the Debt Management Office, have both uh, discussed at this meeting today. They have discussed the fact that it is historical for Nigerians um, who can take over from where the offshore investors have uh, left east. Given the, sense, given the fact that it was listed, uh, it was floated about three weeks ago, as you know, uh, a billion uh, dollars in the uh, a billion dollar euro bond um, a program. And it has 15 year tenor. Uh, this was done three weeks ago at a yield of 7.875%. So, as it is right now, it, this listing is going to enable the domestic investors, retail investors, institutional corporates generally in Nigeria here to have access to this same bond on the secondary market of the FMDQ OTC. And this is coming after the listing that took place yesterday at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, what other specifics did the, I'm sure there are uh, representatives of the SEC and the debt office at the FMDQ OTC for this listing, uh, what is, are you, have you heard from these two institutions about uh, this particular uh, important uh, listing? Okay, so the SEC is really uh, glad that it has been listed. The SEC representative, who is someone who is representing uh, the Director General, that's Mr. Munir Madwazo, has talked about the fact that they expect this listing to help the capital market contribute more to the gross domestic products in Nigeria. The target that they expect the uh, capital market to be contributing to the GDP of the nation is about 50%. If this is not going to help the capital market uh, contribute up to 50%, at least it will do something substantial. And from the aspect of the debt management office, Dr. Abraham Owankwa has talked about the fact that this bond has been garnering a lot of sentiment from uh, the offshore community and, of course, in the domestic market, to the extent that the uh, yield has now even dropped to 7.2%, uh, all the way from 7.875%. So that tells you we're having more sentiment uh, from both ends. And so the SEC, in addition, has talked about the fact that all the rules and regulations that will enable the FMDQ OCC and the capital market at large to thrive better will be getting more attention from them going forward, and that's following this phenomenal listing in the Nigerian um, um, capital market. Yes, Tempo, uh, thank you for bringing that uh, information uh, to the stream, because uh, what investors and everyone, and what will uh, uh, make the, uh, the government, which is the issuer of this, via the DMO, uh, quite happy, is what you just talked about, the yield on this particular eurobond. If the yield is coming down, that is good news for uh, the government, because that means at the end the government is going to pay less for borrowing this money from the global marketplace because of investors' uh, positive sentiments around it. Thank you very much, Temple Ashaju, uh, for uh, bringing us up to speed uh, on that event, the $1 billion listing of the Eurobond on the FMDQ Securities Exchange. Let's uh, wrap it up for this week. When we come back on Monday, it's going to be the 6th of May and it's going to be the first full trading week in the month of March. Beware of the Ides of March. We have a lot to chew when we come back on Monday. Do have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you at the other side of the weekend. Bye for now.